Ketamine is a dissociative anesthetic. Its main function is to create a state of dissociation. And I've never taken ketamine personally, so I can't describe the the experience of it. But uh, a colleague of mine in psychiatry uh, shared their experience with a patient's experience of it as making that patient feel as if, quote, they were getting out of the cockpit of a plane, but that they were observing themselves doing it. And this was, of course, during a uh, approved therapeutic session that uh, they were doing this, and they were in some sort of intense visualization about a traumatic experience. They were describing some of their depressive symptoms as well as the trauma, and the narrative that they basically created or took away from this and that was relayed to me was one in which the patient felt like they were in their own body, but they were also viewing their own body from the outside. You know, dissociation in in its essence is really about not feeling what's happening. It's about viewing what's happening from a different perspective than what normally uh, one would view that experience from. What seems to be the case is that it somehow allows the patient, the individual, to recount their trauma while feeling either none or a very different set of emotional experiences that they experienced in the actual trauma or fearful experience. So it's a remapping of new onto old, uh, new meaning new feelings onto old feelings while staying in the exact same narrative. But it seems to bring in a, a replacement of previous emotional experiences and sensations in the body with new ones. And so in that way, we can sort of view or we can try and view ketamine-assisted psychotherapy for the treatment of trauma as bringing together the three elements that we talked about before. You want to diminish the intensity, the potency of the old original trauma experience or fear experience. So that seems to be accomplished through this dissociation and maybe through the kind of anesthetic component. So it's a reduction in pain in the body, a dissociation, a kind of observing of the self that leads to the extinction of the trauma and the fear. But then there also seems to be an automatic or kind of built in relearning of a new narrative and new set of experiences, which is the next step that we described earlier. So I, it's an intriguing therapy. It's one that's uh, really catching on and, and there are many, many clinics around the US that are now doing it for a number of people, especially people that are experiencing trauma or have existing traumas and fear that are coupled with depressive symptoms because the data on ketamine and depression seems to be quite strong. <laughs>